Jonathan, did I get that right? Yeah, actually, and I, I remember my question. It's a quick follow-up. I know you've talked a lot about GameStop, but you know, you've talked as well uh, in the last couple of months about the politis, politic, politicization of everything and the, the politicization of masks and COVID. And it seems as if now this whole GameStop issue is now become another example of politicization. Either you're kind of on the side supposedly of the little guy or on the side with the corporate suits. And uh, I, I just don't understand it one bit. I think yeah, absolutely. I think that's absolutely right. It's not so much Democratic Republic, Republican, because I think you're seeing a lot of Trump supporters and a lot of far leftists and a lot of libertarians all on the side of Reddit. And anybody who supports Wall Street is just a, a supporter of the status quo. And I, I, I think you saw the, 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 the Peterson, um, the, I forget his first name. Um, Austin. What's that? Austin. Austin Peterson. They just want to see the world burn. And I think that people on the far left and the people on the far right and the people on the far libertarian, I guess, they just want to see the world burn. And this is another opportunity to see the world burn. And they're convinced and they're convincing their followers that the world is being manipulated by the man, by some group somewhere on Wall Street, in, in, uh, in Switzerland, in I don't know where, right? But there's some group cabal that is manipulating the world and, and Reddit is going to bring those people down or, or Trump was going to bring those people down or I don't know, uh, 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 what's his name? Um, Bernie Sanders was going to bring those people down. But it's all motivated by this. The little guys are constantly being screwed by this elite that controls the world. It's, it's, it's the same conspiracy theory over and over and over again. And this is what happens. When people are alienated, when people are afraid, when people don't have an explanation of what's going on in the world and it scares them, they look for the simplest, cheapest explanation. And the, the, the simplest, cheapest explanation is it, it used to be God. God is angry with you. That's the, the Old Testament is full of this. The, the Jews used to bad stuff used to happen to Jews and they'd go, what's happening? Why is some bad stuff like locusts or whatever? Why is bad stuff happening to us? They say, oh, we must have done something wrong to God. Let's uh, become more religious. Let's sacrifice a bunch of sheep. Let's do all these things and grovel before God and it'll go away. <laughs> and, but that explanation didn't work too well. So then it became, it's the Jews fault. They did it. So let's kill a few Jews and it'll go away. And that lasted into well into the 20th century as an explanation for the world whenever you got alienated, like Germany after, but, but all through the 19th century, as capitalism caused people to be alienated, not for the Marxist reason, but because the world was changing faster than they could cope. The world demanded from them to think. The world demanded from them change. The world demanded from them to become human. And they wanted to stay animals. And they, they were looking for somebody to blame. It must be the capitalist. It must be the Jews. It must be the rich. It must be the businessman. It must be the, 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 the some, you know, some cabal or something. There are really bad people out there who are trying to manipulate things, but um, the world is not run by them, not, not, not effectively, not efficiently. They're, central, you know, they're not that good at what they do, and there are too many disagreements among the devils out there to have one devil in control of everything. So, um, Do you think we're going to have huge uh, uh, show hearings in the House and Senate very soon over all of this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to bring the financiers over, and they're going to tell them, uh, you know, you know, this is this about short, naked short, this short, that short. And then if only one financier, I mean, I don't know if I could pay them. They make more money than I do. So I don't know if I could do this. But if only one financier just stopped for a second and said, Congressman, could you please define what a short is? So I know, I mean, I want to make sure we're talking about the same thing. Or could you define what a, what a call option or put option is? Did your staff prepare you to make a definition of that? Maybe that idiot of a woman from Orange County who always has a whiteboard out and is always accusing uh, and always drawing. Maybe she can draw for us how an option works and how op uh, option markets work and how you clear a call option and why does a call option put price pressure on the stock. That would be the highlight of my decade if, if, some, if, some, polit if some businessman did that to the politicians. Just ask them, just show that they don't know what the hell they are talking about.
They have no concept, nothing, zilch. All right, uh, let's see, two more. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.